I am Dr. Jayshree Raj, Medical Director and Founder of the VIF Hospital at BTM Labert First Stage, Bangalore. Theoretically, the risk of water is only the water embolism which can happen when the water enters into the mother's blood stream. Water aspiration, inhaling water by the babies does not actually happen unless they are exposed to air. So theoretically only two risks can happen that is the water embolism to the mother and the inhaling of the water by the babies. For whom it is um, good or who can have water birthing is who have a single pregnancy that means they are not multiple pregnancies or twin pregnancies who do not have other infections like herpes, HIV or any other bleeding disorders and um, the mothers who have preeclampsia cannot have the water birthing. Water is not only a natural alternative to medicalized pain relief but it also has many many more benefits like freedom of movement and the mother can take different new birthing positions and it is easy for her to turn and rotate. Remaining active in labor promotes blood flow to your placenta and baby. It also relaxes and softens pelvic flow muscles which may assist the birth of your baby. Many describe the experience of water as positive and gentle. The skin to skin contact is initiated easily with the bath. This promotes the establishment of breastfeeding and allows baby to remain warm. Early skin to skin contact reduces the newborn stress and the stress hormone levels. Why babies do not drown in water? It is simple and logical. During pregnancy, your baby is surrounded by the amniotic fluid. Fluid assists baby's movement and development. While babies practice breathing movements during pregnancy, baby receives oxygen from the placenta through umbilical cord. Baby is protected from breathing throughout labor by the hormones produced in the body. Understanding the mechanism can also help us understand the safety of the water birth. During pregnancy, baby circulation is different to the neonatal circulation, that is the circulation of the newborn baby. At birth, fetal circulation switches to the newborn circulation when the foramen oval and the ductus arteriosus closes. The second important trigger for breathing is achieved through stimulation of baby's face, achieved when baby is brought to the surface of, a, of water. This stimulates the trigeminal nerve, that is the fifth cranial nerve, around the nose and the mouth of the baby and the message is received to your baby to commence breathing. The other mechanism which already is in the pregnancy also includes a response or reflex of the baby causes the swallowing rather than breathing. If you want to watch more videos about me, Please subscribe to the Doctor Circle.